we've taken over a restaurant and invited five special guests to enjoy a unique dining experience. Mushrooms, forget them. <laughs> Get them out of there. This is a dinner party with a difference because our diners will be scored on the environmental impact of every dish they choose. To a lower carbon footprint. <laughs> Food accounts for a third of all our greenhouse gas emissions. So one of the biggest things we can do as individuals to help the environment is change what we eat. They're actually capturing carbon from uh, the atmosphere, which is one of the reasons why it's pretty good. I feel a little halo coming around the back of my head. We've created a delicious meal of delights. This dinner is a competition, and to win, our guests will have to choose the eco goodies and avoid the eco nasties hidden in the menu. So I can win this. Now I'm interested. I'm mathematician Dr. Hannah Fry. As our guests are tucking into their dinner next door, I'm going to be back here with some environmental scientists, carefully calculating the carbon footprint of every single item on the menu. Got a spoon, chef? Get stuck in. I'm former greengrocer Greg Wallace. Mm. I'll be working with the kitchen team to deliver a dinner full of surprises. Whoa! And sharing top tips and tricks to help us all cook the food we love while still being green. These were frozen when they had the sun on them, they're sweet, they're perfect. It's time to reveal how we can all eat delicious food that doesn't cost the earth. We're holding our carbon counting dinner at a London restaurant. The first of our guests to arrive is vegan and comedian Sarah Pascoe. Can I have some water? Am I the first one here? You are indeed. Feels like first dates. <laughs> we haven't told the guests much, just that their slap up meal has got something to do with environmental eating. I'm hoping that it won't be, you know, a full on fight. <laughs> But who cares more about the world? Next to arrive is journalist Amal Rajat. He tries to be vegetarian, but can't resist the occasional bucket of fried chicken. Hey, Sarah. 